Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the microbiological structure of coronavirus. Coronavirus is an enveloped pleomorphic virus, which means that it's covered with a lipid layer that's originated from our cells. And we'll see how that happens in a minute. Once an infected person coughs or sneezes, the virus droplets fly in the air and they enter the respiratory tract of the recipient patient through the nose. The virus then travels all the way through our lungs till it reaches the mucociliary cells. And it uses these two proteins to enter the cell. Ironically, the mucociliary cells normally prevent respiratory tract infections. And in the case of COVID-19, that's where the infection starts. Once inside the cell, the virus releases its genomes which then becomes integrated within the DNA of the normal cell. This takes control over the cell and forces it to make more viruses using the cell's nutrition, proteins, and resources. Within days, the cell will be overloaded with viruses and it will burst, releasing these viruses to the adjacent cells. One infected cell will infect up to a thousand other cells and the thousands will infect millions. If we take a sample of an infected epithelial tissue, we'll see epithelial cells with damaged cilia and intracellular vacuoles and syncytia. These characteristics are the hallmark of the virus. Damaged and dead cells will release cytokines, which will trigger the inflammatory process. This causes local swelling and increase in the nasal secretions which in turn causes coughing and sneezing. The swelling obstructs the small airways, results in decreased oxygenation, and the inflammation causes fever. This process takes about three or four days, which is about the time the virus causes symptoms from the moment of infection. The virus has a single-stranded positive sense RNA, I've already explained the positive sense and negative sense in this video. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.